हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन इंग्लिश ग्रामर व्हिच इज फ्रेजेस एंड क्लॉजेस इट्स अ वेरी इजी टॉपिक टू अंडरस्टैंड वी जस्ट हैव टू फोकस आई वांट यू टू टेक योर प्रैक्टिस रजिस्टर्स एंड पेंस और पेंसिल्स विद यू सो दैट यू कैन राइट इट साइड बाय साइड टू have a better understanding right so let us start with phrases first of all what are phrases and what are clauses let's understand see i have written here phrases no subject and verb so yes phrases have no subject and no verb phrases now what is a phrase it is a group of words phrases is a group of words where subject and verb is missing and i am explaining you side by side clauses also and what is a clause a clause is a group of words where subject and verb will be present okay for understanding for better understanding let us take examples here is our example we have phrases for example i say on the wall or i say in the water on the wall it is a group of words on the wall in the water i can say over the horizon so these are the uh, see on the wall is a group of words but there is no subject and verb present in here right and it conveys you something it is telling you something but the information is half right it is not it is not uh, providing you the complete information so phrases is a group of words which cannot stand alone it needs something to complete itself and subject and verb is missing right coming to clauses i have written one example here the boy is playing now this sentence is complete in itself and it is conveying you the complete meaning right the boy is playing it is conveying you a complete meaning and it does not require anything else to complete it so it is a group of words okay why it is conveying you a complete meaning because a subject and a verb is present here that is why it is conveying you a complete meaning and it can stand alone on its own it can stand alone <clears throat> it does not require any other thing to complete its meaning so the boy is playing is a complete is delivering you a complete sense plus it is having a subject and a verb so therefore it is a clause whereas on the wall in the water over the horizon or i say in a field these are the group of words means these are the phrases why they are phrases why they are called as phrases because they are the group of words which are not conveying a complete meaning and the subject and verb is missing now i am taking one more example he is playing in a field identify the phrase as well as the clause in this sentence so the uh, clause in this sentence will be he is playing because this part of the sentence can stand alone it is conveying you a complete meaning he is playing right and the part in a field is a phrase because here subject and verb is minus subject minus verb there is no subject no verb here so it is a phrase it is not conveying you the complete meaning it needs something to complete but if i talk about this part of the sentence he is playing as a subject and has a verb and therefore it is a clause i hope phrases and clauses basic definition is clear to all of you now as you can see on the board now i have written only clauses here see what is a phrase a subject and a verb is missing in a phrase it is a group of words where subject and verb is missing and what is a clause subject and verb is present now we have two types you can divide phrases into two categories one is independent clause and second is dependent clause now one thing is clear one thing is sure in independent clause as well as dependent clause that in independent clause subject and verb will be present right and in dependent clause also subject and verb will be present now let us take one example to make it more clear 
The example is Asif plays hockey as he enjoys it. Now this is a single sentence, right? And I can divide it into two parts. Like one part is a dependent clause of this sentence and second is the independent clause. Independent clauses are actually the complete sentences. Independent clauses are the complete sentences in itself. Asif plays hockey. Subject is present, verb is present, it is conveying a complete meaning. This part of the sentence, Asif plays hockey, is an independent clause. But if I come to the other part of the sentence, as he enjoys it, a subject is present, a verb is present, but if I speak as he enjoys it, is it conveying a complete meaning? No, as he enjoys it. Like what? Who enjoys what? Right? Something is missing. But something is missing, it should be a phrase. Why it is not a phrase? Because a subject and a verb is present. So it is a clause. It is a clause where a subject and a verb is present, but still it is not conveying a complete meaning, is your dependent clause. Right? Second, Harris is back from work, so he must take rest. Now this sentence also I can divide into dependent clause and independent clause. So what, what part is the independent clause, which can be a complete sentence in itself? Harris is back from work. A subject is present. A verb is present. And it is conveying you a complete sense. Harris is back from work. It is conveying you a complete sense. It, this part of the sentence is your independent clause. But if I say, so he must take rest, he must take is a verb. Take is a verb, right? Subject and verb is present. But still it is not conveying you a complete meaning. So he must take rest. Who must take rest? Why? Right? Questions are arising. It is not complete. So, this part is a dependent clause. Let us take one more example. I was tired, so I decided to go to bed early. Now, I was tired. A subject is present. A verb is present. I was tired. It's an independent clause. I can add something. For example, I say, I was tired from working all day. I was tired from working all day. Right? It's a complete sentence or I was tired. A subject and a verb is present and the, it is conveying you a complete meaning. It is a complete sentence in itself. So it is an independent clause. But the next part of the sentence. So I decided to go to bed early. I decided. Subject and verb are present. So I decided to go to bed early. Why? Something is missing, no? Subject and verb is present. Still something is missing. It's a dependent clause. So till now we did what is a phrase, what is a clause. And we can divide clauses into two parts. Independent clauses which act as complete sentences and dependent clauses which have a subject and a verb but still you feel that something is missing.